Oh, hello everyone, and how are you all doing this evening? So what, tonight, by popular demand, we're going to do the Darkest Dungeon. Which is a very, very interesting game, i got to be honest with you. It's not like anything I've played before. It's a, a sideways scrolling, kind of roguelike adventure game. And the object of the game is to basically defeat the evils that surround the Darkest Dungeon. In fact, I'll tell you what, rather than me talk about it, let's just see what they have to say about it. has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular, unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long... Hello, Marshmallow Sue. Exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth, but we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family. From the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. Right, so as you can see, this is a very much a game about hugs and kittens. Right. One of the things that makes this very unusual is the fact that it's not a good idea to get that attached to the characters in your party. Because they're going to go mad. And die. See you later, good luck, Simmers. Thanks for coming along. Right. Okay, let's, let's make a new save here. As you can see, I've actually been playing this for a few weeks. Okay, so we'll start a new game. And go through the little tutorial and just take it from there. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Our redemption. Our redemption. My character was at university somewhere at the time. No, it's not our redemption. It's your redemption, old man. Yours. How is everyone? Hello, girly simmers. 
I understand you've been trying to get in touch with me, girly Simmers. And a bit late. No, nobody's spoken about what they're eating for dinner yet. I had pizza. A bit boring, I know, but there you go. Well, this is how we start off. Yeah, let's just go through this quickly. Here we are. We're one of these guys. We're Reynald or Dismas, one or the other. And we need to travel from this room which we're in to this room, which we do by clicking on it. And then we go into a corridor. And the corridors all look like this. Yeah, we can move backwards and forwards, or even rather forwards and backwards. Hello, Melody Flower. And the, we need to get to the next room. In fact, that is all we have to do in this game. Is walk forward and fight. Kill the enemy. So, each of us take a turn. We start off with Dismas. He, he's got four attacks. He can take aim, which is buff. He can use Grape Shot Blast, which will shoot at three people at the same time. He can do a Pistol Shot, which will only uh, only fire to the back three. If you notice, there's a room for four people on the left, four people on the right. And those correspond with the dots on the attack. So, Pistol Shot will only work if you're in the second, third, or fourth position on the left-hand side. And will only attack the second, third, or fourth positions on the right-hand side. As there's nobody wants there, we can't use that attack, but we can use Open Vein, which we shall do. And we do 8 points of damage to him, which gets him down to 7 point points of damage. And we're bleeding, so he's bleeding, so he'll take 2 damage every time he takes a turn for the next 3 rounds. But hopefully, we'll kill him before then, just like that. So, we've got 25 gold for that, and off we head. Interactive objects. Occasionally you'll find things like this tent. Okay, we can ex examine the tent and see if we can find any valuables in it. We get 200 gold. Not too bad. Kittens are all kittens from for hell. Don't let their fluffy exteriors confuse you. Right, so second fight. This guy has got lots of hit points. He's got 35 hit points. And he takes up the first two positions. And this guy is actually in the third position. So... Um, we can uh, attack either one of those and what I'm going to go for is actually this little guy because he actually does a lot more damage so let's see if we can get him out of the way first so we'll do um, we can do a pistol shot on this guy 8 points of damage that's nice and that's why I wanted to get him killed because he attacks both of us at the same time but, as well do they both but this one does a lot more damage but he's got us bleeding, which is not fun. So let's see what we can do here. Well, we can't actually attack this guy because all of our attacks are for the first two positions. So what I will do is I will do a stunning blow, I think. See if we can stun this guy. We do one point of damage, and we do indeed stun him. So he's going to miss his next turn. Right, okay. Now he's only got four hit points. Let's do a Grape Shot Blast and attack both of them. That didn't quite kill him. That's annoying. There you go. There's our stun. At, uh, that means he doesn't attack. Let's try stunning him again. See if we can just keep him out of the loop for a bit. No. Didn't work. But... There, that's got that guy killed. Now we can concentrate on the guy in the front rank. Nope, this is the tutorial, and we're not doing very well in it. Uh, let's go for damage. There we go, 11 points of damage. And the other thing to... Okay, the other thing to take into account here, okay, is stress. Now, if you notice, this guy has got 13 stress of 100. If that bar goes all the way up to the end, he starts to go mad. <laughs> so, we shall see... Let's see if we can get him dead. Oh, he didn't bleed, but none again, neither did we. Come on. There, got him dead. Okay, um, one thing I will say here today is it doesn't look like my internet connection is very good. So if this starts getting really bad, let me know and we'll put this off for a bit. So right, we've got 400 gold and crests. Crests can be used to improve the hamlets that you live in. So here we go. Take all. 
And we've won, but before we go, let's open this chest. It's a trap chest, so of course it's trapped, what a surprise. Right, are we done? That's the tutorial. <clears throat> so, we get 5,000 reward for starting the game. We have the gold, 625 gold, we collected our adventures, and we picked up eight crests on the way through. They count as heirlooms, and these four different types of heirlooms are used to improve things. Twitch... I don't think it's actually Twitch's fault today. I think it might actually be my connection. We'll see. Okay, so... Let's see. Um, these guys have completed an adventure. At the end of every adventure, you get a chance of picking up... Um, traits. They can be good or they can be bad. This is, Reynold has picked up Lymphomania. He gets more stress heal when he's in the brothel. We'll see about that later. And Dismas gets hard skin. So he gets 5% protection from damage. So those actually were quite good. And here we are in the hamlet. Okay, so... Alright, uh, this we get this at the end of every uh, adventure, okay? It just tells what's been going on recently. And we have a number of ultimate goals. Now these are, are bosses. Okay, and we also have goals to get uh, one of every class up to level 6, which is the maximum level. Alright, so we have a Crusader and a Highwayman at the moment. But you can have Lepers, Bounty Hunters, Jesters, Vestals, Hellions, Occultists. And if we're going to play some more, we are going to have to uh, get some more people. And we do that through the Stagecoach. Hello, Andy Ray. So, every at the end of every turn, the stagecoach will bring us new um, adventurers. And as we've only got two, by some strange coincidence, we have a good a guy who's good at the first rank, a guy who's good at the second rank, a guy who's good at the third rank, and a guy who's good, well, a girl who's good, in the fourth rank. So let's have a quick look at these guys. Okay, so Mobene is a plague doctor, and uh, he gives he his skills stop bleeding or give blight or give poisons and things like that. So um, these are um, this this will um, blight somebody in one of the first two uh, ranks. This one will blight two people in the last two ranks. This one will cure blight or bleed, and this one. Well, this is interesting. This will shuffle the position of people in the ranks. So if you're third, you might become second or fourth. And that actually has an interesting effect because you can see this guy likes to be in the, the fourth or third position and is a little bit better at attacking people in the second, third or fourth. So if we were to move him up to the front position, he would be almost useless. And that's why shuffling is a good thing. So we'll have him. And Vestals are good at healing. Okay, so this is one that does damage and heals herself. This is one that does damage and stuns. This is a skill that heals one person for three to five points of damage. And this one does... Well, it, it does Illumination. We'll talk about later on. And... Dumb stops a person from dodging so much. Yeah, I'm sorry. A little bit of um, exposition here, but uh, it's really the only way to get into this. Uh, so let's, let's just run through this quickly and then we can get on with an adventure. So there we go, we have four people now, which is a good sized party. Um, the other thing that opened to us at the moment is the graveyard, where we can see who has died. Nobody has died yet. Uh, Gurley Simmers, oh, I'm sorry to hear you've had a bad day. Um, and I'm sorry to hear you've made Melody Flower a little jealous. You will... You will regret that in time. Yes, she seems sweetened on the outside, but on the inside. Right. Let's go and do something, shall we? Right. We have only one adventure available to us at the start, which is a short exploration, a short scout of the ruins. 
but later on we'll have the Warrens, the Weald, the Cove and the Darkest Dungeon open to us. The, these two are currently locked, they're not actually in the game at the moment, but these two will open up to us fairly soon. <laughs> I do often when I'm hearing this game here, Merc, feed me! And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. It's called The Trapdoor. It was a 1980s cartoon, and it was marvellous. So, right, this adventure will give us, for, for completion, 3,000 gold, two busts, ooh, and two crests. On top of whatever we find in there. So, we'll pick our people. We'll have, well, we've only have four, so we'll have those four. It's important we get them in a good order for them. The Crusader works better at the front. And the uh, Vestal works better at the back. And I'm really sorry that uh, th this is going bad. This is this is going. To, uh, I I think to be totally honest with you, I'm being throttled at my end, which is going to be a complete pain. But let's see what we can do. Okay. So there's our people. There is our destination. Let's get some supplies. Now. We need to buy these supplies, and we don't get refunds on the way back. We're going to need some food, so we'll pick up uh, a stack of that, which is 12. And we're going to need some torches, so we'll pick up a stack of those, which is 8. And the other things will help us through the adventure. Um, bandages, for example, will stop bleeding. Uh, a shovel will break down obstacles. The other things can be used, well include actually bandages as well, can be used on items you find in the game to either get more rewards or um, take less damage opening them. So well, first of all we're going to grab a couple of shovels and I think what we'll do is we'll take a bandage and a skeleton key and that will do us I think. So let's make a start. Once holy idols and shrines have been corrupted in favour of pagan gods, holy water can help restore them to their rightful condition. Shame we don't have any, really. Okay. Alright, um... Who haven't I said hello to? Um, Joe C08, Kendall, Sidarian, Kitzijan, hello. Old Lady Simmer, hello. Uh, I don't think I... Well, okay, if I've missed you, I do apologise, and hello. So here we are. Let's have a look at the map. The map, as you can see, is a bit more complicated. So, um, in order to win this, this level, we need to complete 100% of room battles. So, these are rooms, and some of them will have battles in. And once we've fought all the battles possible, we've won. Okay, so this bar at the top is our light level. If our light is really high, we have a better chance of scouting, seeing what's up ahead of ahead of time, and we have a better chance of monsters getting surprised, which is not bad for us. That gives us a free time, um, free turn. But if it gets low, um, we get less chance of scouting. The monsters tend to be surprise us more than us them. But on the other hand, we get more treasure. But at the moment, I think with our little fragile guys, we're going to keep that well lit. So here we are. We're going to move across. Let's move across. And let's see what we see. Oh, trap. Six points of damage. Ow. And a lot of stress. Okay, this bookcase. I'm going to do this bookcase, but I don't generally do them because they're horrible. Bookshelf. A bookshelf full of old leather-bound books. Don't have anything I can add to it. I could try setting fire to it, but I don't think that's a good idea. A map is found in, the, in there. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, so we now know where all the potential treasures are in the corridors, but not in the rooms. Okay, before we go in, let's torch up and let's go. Ah, our first real fight. And they're surprised. Bone Rabble of fighty types. Bone Couriers do not do that much attacking, but they have attacks that stress people out. So it's going to be in my interest to get these guys done first, I think. So 
let's see what we're going to do. Um, I think actually we're going to start off. Let's heal up this guy because of all that damage you took. And we'll do a great shot blast. That will attack the first three. They all dodge. That's nice. Um, a play grenade. Which hopefully will blight these guys. Let's see. Nope, they both resist. We've done a point of damage to them. And... Ooh, what should we do? What should we do? Let's do... Let's just attack one of them. See if we can kill him. We kill him. Okay, uh, this isn't working. No picture or volume. Is everyone... Anyone else? In fact, let me type it in. How many people are having problems? Let's do that again, but take the caps lock off first. How many people are ha having problems? Okay, uh, might call this quits early tonight. I don't know. We'll see. So let's let's just hit all three while we're waiting. Tempting Goblet. That's going to do a lot of stress. 19 points of stress. That's not good. Another Tempting Goblet. Hmm. This one just goes bump of the night. Things that go bump of the night don't really give one a fright. It's the hole in each ear that lets in the fear. That's in the absence of light. He's dead. Okay, let's see what damage we can do. Uh, that's really worth for shuffling them, so let's do, let's do a Noxious Blast. Let's get this guy, see if we can get him dead. Okay. Knife in the dark. Which is not nearly as bad as a knife in the kidneys. Just put that out there. Okay, so we get 275 gold for the fight, a portrait, and some food. And we're going to open this up. And we get some four busts, which is kind of weird. Okay, uh, what are we going to do here? All right, um, I'm going to do this one um, run through, and then I'm going to ask everyone whether they want me to carry on. If it's still bad then what I'll do is I will do I'll stop then and I'll do a bonus live stream on Saturday uh, it's totally up to you guys we'll see how you feel at the end okay so we've done this room let's move on to the next one okay, how are we doing for lights 95 that's good lock cabinet waste of time trying to open oh we've got a key oh here let's unlock it there we go so we got some gold and we got some crests that was a very nice haul, actually. Backpack. Oh, look at that gold. How very nice. And let's use that, that torch because the light's getting a bit low. Okay. Oh, another fight. Bone defenders a bit large. Bone soldiers, we've seen. They're a bit fragile. They're okay. And these really annoying bone courtiers. Who went first? How very nice. Okay, so let's see if we can pick one off. Yes! Okay, and... What should we do? Let's... Uh, okay, let's, let's try... Let's see if we can get the other one. Nope! Um... Da -ba -da -ba -da. Let's try that. Let's see if we can shuffle him. That'd be nice. He's less he's less deadly there. Do the graveyard slash. He did the slash. He did the graveyard slash. Ooh, that was a bit uh, nasty. Okay, that attack both stunned him and moved him back a place, which is pretty terrible. Okay, zealous accusation. Does 40% less damage, but it will do 60% of his damage to this guy and 60% of his damage to this guy. 
Oh, all in all, actually works out a bit better. Okay, so. Um, what do we do? Let's do a dazzling light to see if we can stun this guy. Yep. Okay, and. Uh, do we want to kill him? Or should we concentrate on someone else because he's stunned? Uh, did he? Let's concentrate on someone else because he's stunned. But he dodged, how nice. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to start healing in a minute. Alright, that's got rid of one of them. That's good. Okay, I think we need to start healing here. Oh dear. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can get this skeleton guy to bleed. Bleed resist 100%. Let's not bother. Let's just try shooting this guy instead. There we go. And there's another one gone. Okay, and a noxious blast. And there he goes. Combat over. So, we got some lucky dice, which is uh, an item. It can go into these slots. Now this one gives you accuracy and dodge in place of a bit of damage. And it will only work with the Jester. We don't have a Jester, so we'll just keep it for now. Some busts and some gold. Not a bad haul. And that, believe it or not, was all the room battles.